Right, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you for taking the time to come along uh, for this press conference. Um, as you know, uh, I have been considering restructuring government now for, for quite some time. Uh, we have announced and in fact had Tinwald approval for the new structure of government uh, and that is due to take place on the 1st of April. Uh, in the meantime, I have been uh, reviewing the lineup, the ministerial lineup, to ensure that I have uh, freshened the team up in advance of that new restructuring and I'm pleased to be able to announce the new lineup today. Um, there are a number of changes. Um, as you know, as part of the original restructuring, we've reduced the number of departments. There are now eight uh, departments and therefore eight ministers as opposed to nine previously. Uh, and also with the Manx Utilities Authority, there will be one less board as well. So government is uh, downsizing itself and the Council of Ministers is downsizing itself uh, accordingly. Uh, I have had a tricky balance uh, as part of this review to ensure a degree of continuity amongst the, the existing ministers, uh, but also to take the opportunity to freshen up the team, uh, bearing in mind that uh, a number of members may well be uh, standing down from government in uh, three years' time. Uh, and there is a need to establish continuity uh, wherever possible to deal with that. So my new lineup is a combination of uh, continuity, new faces and a reflection of the new structure of government which will uh, hopefully take us forward to uh, continue to deliver the uh, savings and uh, budget rebalancing that we've been working on now for the last two and a half years. So I'm uh, pleased to announce, uh, I'll go through the, the new lineup for you. Um, you may already have it, but uh, just to confirm, Mr. Tier will stay at Treasury. Uh, Mr. Shimon will stay at Economic Development. Uh, Mr. Robert Shaw is stepping up into the new role of Minister for Policy and Reform. Uh, this is a new post and it will be, uh, its responsibility and role will evolve, I think, in uh, the light of experience and the passage of time, uh, but is going to be key to driving through the recommendations of the scope review. We have over 200 recommendations there which have to be Im implemented over the next couple of years. Uh, part of this ro new role will be to uh, ensure that these changes take place. Uh, it will be to develop uh, policy and broader strategy for, for government through a more central role than we've had before. Uh, and that, I think, uh, will uh, assist government to uh, work more in a joined-up fashion and to ensure that we consider not just the short-term budget rebalancing, but the long-term strategic issues relating to the island. The uh, new Cabinet Office uh, will uh, take in the Chief Secretary's Office, the Office of Human Resources, Information Systems Division and Economic Affairs. Uh, that is the lineup at present and again even that may evolve in the passage of time. Uh, but uh, essentially it will be very much a, a central uh, a control with an oversight across government. Um, Mr Quayle uh, steps into the role of Minister for Health and Social Care. This new department, which is the uh, merging of the old health and social care uh, departments into a new structure, again will take place on the 1st of April. Uh, the department, though, drops off the uh, social security responsibility, which is moving over to Treasury. Uh, so it will focus very much on uh, the uh, health and social care requirements of government. It's a new challenge for Mr Quayle. Uh, and I'm sure he's uh, delighted to take up this new new challenge in his political career. Uh, but there are a number of changes already uh, taking place in the uh, health department. As you're aware, we've announced recently the new structure for Nobles Hospital, which has been a cause for some concern over the last uh, year or two. Uh, and Mr Quayle will have the responsibility for overseeing the implementation of those changes. In environment, food and agriculture, Mr Gorn retains his portfolio, as does Mr Watterson in Home Affairs and Mr Krukal in Education. 
Um, the other new uh, position, though, is uh, in infrastructure, where Mr. Skelly will be taking over from Mr. Cretney, and uh, uh, we'll have other responsibilities added on to infrastructure, uh, such as the transport department, and uh, uh, I'm sure, as Mr. Skelly has already been working in that department of infrastructure, he will be uh, an excellent replacement for Mr. Cretney. Um, I would like just at this point to pay tribute for the, to the work done by Mr. Anderson, Mr. Cretney, and Mr. Cregeen, who, uh, whose department, Department of Community, Culture and Leisure, is now defunct and is going to be broken up uh, amongst a number of other departments. But I would like to pay tribute to all three of them for the hard work that they've done during this, this period. It's been a very challenging period for all three of them. They've, they've coped uh, very well with those challenges. Uh, and I would like to thank them sincerely for the commitment they've given to their jobs and to the island community in uh, managing three very, very difficult and challenging portfolios. This is, uh, these changes are evolutionary. Uh, it is uh, in, in no way a, meant to be any criticism of the three retiring members. It's just uh, that because of the structural changes taking place across government, we now need to take this opportunity to, to freshen things up, up further. Now, uh, we have one further post to fill, and that is the Manx Utilities Authority, which is the merged uh, MEA and uh, Water Authority. Now, this is a slightly different appointment because, as Chief Minister, I can't appoint the, the Chairman. Uh, it has to be, first of all, uh, a recommendation from the Council of Ministers uh, to Tinwald, and then a Tinwald vote. And we. Uh, expect to have that vote at the March Tinwald, and I hope to be in a position to announce uh, the Council of Ministers' recommendation by the end of this week. Uh, so there's still uh, uh, some work to be done on that, but it, it will be uh, uh, announced very, very shortly. There are interim measures uh, being uh, announced today as well, which uh, is a part of the press release. Um, because clearly uh, there is a period of transition now between uh, today and the, the 1st of March. Uh, Mr. Robert Shaw, who was Minister for Social Care uh, and is now Minister for uh, Policy and Reform, will take over uh, for the intervening period as Minister of Community, Culture and Leisure to oversee the breakup of that department and its elements shared amongst uh, other departments. And Mr. Quayle will, uh, in the short term, be uh, taking over the uh, not only the portfolio for health but also the current portfolio for social care uh, until the restructuring uh, takes place. And uh, as I said, Mr. Skelly is is taking over um, uh, at infrastructure. So um, that that is the uh, range of changes which we are announcing. There will. Following this, of course, be a review of the departmental membership. That probably will take another week or two to, to uh, finalise. We need to get the ministerial post in place first, and then the allocation of individual responsibilities to uh, members will follow shortly. Um, but of course, there will be uh, two departments, fewer this time, so it's going to be more of a challenge for the Council, I think, to ensure a distribution of these responsibilities uh, across uh, the remaining backbenches. So overall, this uh, change today is a response uh, uh, overall to the, the need to restructure government, to focus more clearly on the uh, urgent uh, demands of rebalancing government's budget, of uh, protecting the vulnerable and of growing the economy. These are all steps uh, put in train. To, to build on the work we've done over the last two and a half years. We are on target for rebalancing the budget, but there is going to be a real challenge for the new uh, Council of Ministers to ensure that we stay on target and that we deliver the rebalancing as promised within two years. Um, so there is a challenge for everyone today to, to step up to the plate. This year, as I've said before, is going to be uh, the year of delivery. The Council of Ministers has got to ensure that the uh, announcements and proposals and work streams that we've announced over the last two years now are seen to deliver. Um, I do believe we are on target to do that, but there is, as I say, a challenge for 
the Council of Ministers now to continue the work that's been done and uh, drive these final changes through uh, in, in the time ahead. Thank you.